Hi everyone, it's Ms. Akvari in the library. I wanted to tell you a little bit about the book Green Glass House um, by the author Kate Mel Melford. Um, this book is in our mystery section and um, it's a really interesting and kind of unique story and the beginning of a series, if that's something you enjoy, about reading. But what's kind of fun about this book is it's set right during the winter holidays. Um, the green glass house that you see on the cover is actually kind of a hotel. They call it an inn. Um, so it's a place for people to stay. And it's kind of set off um, on this island. It's sort of hard to get to. And what it's known for is being an inn for smugglers. And smugglers are people who are moving goods secretly, sneakily, usually illegally from place to place. So it's kind of like a hideout more than it is a hotel. Um, so there's always kind of some suspicious and shady things going on there. Um, and this inn kind of caters to those people and tries to help them out, give them a place, a safe place to stay. And so the innkeepers have a son, his name is Milo, and he is super excited that it is winter break, that he has time to relax and just kind of enjoy some downtime because this time of year around the winter holidays, Green Glass House is quiet. No one shows up. It's almost forgotten about. So he can just do his own thing. And unfortunately for Milo, this time, this year, um, it's not quiet. Uh, guest after guest rings the bell and comes in and has kind of a story, a reason that they came back to Green Glass House, um, things that they're looking for there or memories that they have that they're sharing about the house. And person after person, um, each character kind of weirder and more strange than the other comes in. And Milo starts to wonder if these events are connected and he starts to find some unusual things. He finds a map at one point, he overhears some bits of conversation that make him wonder what's going on. And so Milo and um, his friend Medi, who's the daughter of the cook at Green Glass House, decide they're gonna get to the bottom of this and figure out what's going on. So if you like a good mystery, if you like stories with kind of unusual, secretive, weird sort of characters, you might enjoy reading Green Glass House.